okay in the previous video we have seen how to create the heterogeneous graph using the dgl heterograph method in this video let's see how can we create the undirected graph or the bidirectional heterogeneous graph okay if you observe our previous example so this is a unidirectional graph that means if you observe the users and movies there is only a single directed edge that is from users to movies but we don't have any edges from movies to users similarly if we observe the movie director relation there are only edges from directors to movies but we don't have any edges from movies to directors but let's say we have a requirement that we need to get edges in bidirectional okay and also uh, when i say bidirectional you can also treat it as a uh, undirectional graph because uh, you know whenever you have any edge between two nodes without any direction we usually treat that as a bidirectional graph okay if you don't have a direction on the edge we treat that as a bidirectional by default we also call that as undirected okay so if you remember in the homogeneous graph we have used one method we have used the dgl two directed okay two bidirected method so let's see whether we can use the same method on the heterogeneous graph okay so instead of calling it as heterograph i'll call it as you know undirected or or maybe i'll i'll call it as a bidirected heterograph okay and uh, we have that method we have already seen we have two bidirected okay so this is the same method that we have used for the homogeneous graph okay so this method accepts the graph as an input so here i'll pass my heterograph okay i'll pass my heterograph let's see what happens okay so my expectation is that okay we already have edges between users and movies now i want this method to create the edges between movies and users similarly i have the edges between director and movies now i want this method to create the edges between movie and director that is movie to director okay so let's see what happens so when we run this uh, it failed so this method didn't work okay because dgl dot two by two bidirected method only works if the node types of source and destination are same we know that this method already works fine for the homogeneous graph but while coming to the heterogeneous graph this method only works this method only works if the source node type and destination node types are same otherwise this method won't work okay so that's one of the drawbacks of this method so, the, so we cannot use this method here okay so we need to manually you know create these uh, uh, edges before that let's see uh, let's just interpret the node ids and edge ids okay we already have the heterograph i'll just call it as uh, nodes okay just to see the node ids see uh, this method also failed because in the homogeneous graph this used to work fine but here we don't have the single node type right we have multiple node types so whenever we are calling this function we need to explicitly mention for what node type are we checking this okay and uh, just to see what are all the you know node types we can use n types okay we have something called heterograph dot n types which will give you all the node types okay these are all the node types so now you can use something like n type is equal to let's say user so it will give you all the uh, you know uh, tensor ids sorry all the node ids in a tensor okay similarly we can see for any given n type so similarly we can also do the same thing for edges so whenever you type the graph name dot e types it will give us all the edge types okay all the edge types so similarly now we can use heterograph dot edges okay heterograph dot edges and here also we need to explicitly mention the e type let's say i, I will check the e type as watches okay you can see so this this is the source node tensor and this is the destination node tensor okay so now what i wanted to do i wanted to reverse these things i wanted to add reverse edges i wanted to add reverse relations so now i'll create my new data dict so instead of having this 
so what i'll do here is that so now i have user to movie now i'll create a new relation that is from movie to user okay i'll create a new relation which is movie to user and i'll change the relation name movie let's say movie uh, watched by user okay and again uh, we need to change these tensor values also because like these are the movie values so i'll replace this with movie values and i'll replace the destination with the user values user ids okay so this is done similarly i'll also add a new relation okay from movie to director we already have director to movie edges now i'll add movie to director edges movie to director edges and let's say i'll call this as uh, you know movie directed by okay and here it will be 1 0 and here it will be 0 1 okay so this is uh, i'll call it as uh, you know by directed data dict by directed data dict okay because we are adding reverse edges okay so i'll print this so this is why now we can see four different relations including the reverse relations so now i'll again use uh, the same name by directed uh, heterograph so we can create the graph using heterograph method which accepts this dictionary as an input so i'll pass by directional data dict so let me print the graph so it is by directional heterograph okay by directional heterograph so now when we print this graph let's see so now you can see the number of nodes didn't change the number of nodes in the graph are same but the number of edges are changed you can see between director and movie we have two edges and also between movie and director we have two more edges right and uh, just if you want to just compute all the total number of edges you know it's pretty straight forward let's take uh, for e type in what is our graph it's by directional hetero graph dot edges okay so no i'll just get all the e types okay i'll just all the get e types so now we need to you know uh just get the number of edges okay for the given e type so how can we do that so we can use this method okay and we can use the same things that we have seen earlier so we can use edges method but we need to define e type is equal to e type okay and uh, it will give us the the tensor so first let's just print and see okay so now you can see for every okay it is giving uh, the total uh, edge ids right so all we want is uh, the number of edges so we can use num edges so now it is giving the number of edges for each of the given edge type okay so we can just sum up this so that that will give you uh, let's quickly do that also so i will call it as total number of edges in our gra in my graph i'll put it as 0 so here i'll just sum this up so total number of edges i'll just append all the type or like all the number of edges of all the edge types and let's just print the total number of edges okay so this will give us the total number of edges 12 edges okay you can see but if we, if you see the same thing for the normal graph that is the direct uh, unidirected graph so how many we have we have six edges here but here we have 12 edges right so we could able to successfully add all the reverse edges thank you